Are you showtime? Showtime. Come back to Scotland. I am big. To Jurassic Park. It's Welcome. the picture that got to small. The real world. Kind of a big deal. Oh. Got the painting king. With great I'm power. We're not in Kansas anymore. Comes great great slow dessert. What are we doing live? They call me Mr. Tibbs. Echoes of eternity. Well, it's not the many of life that counts. It's the life in your mind. Life. Love. Ever dance with the devil in the eyes away? Life. Oh, oh I'm scared. Oh, what have you done to his eyes? Hello and welcome to this episode of the podcast, The Mnemonic Tree, where we add a single mnemonic leaf to our tree of knowledge. I'm Jan, your mnemonic man, and today's episode will be on a man that died at the age of just 24, but left an indelible legacy of youthful rebellion and defiance, and of course good looks, James Dean. Dean was born in Marion, Indiana, but soon moved to California, where his dad was transferred for work. Tragically, his mother fell ill and died, and as a result, he was moved back to Indiana, where he was looked after by his aunt and uncle on their farm. In college, he was a pre-law major at Santa Monica College, but then transferred to UCLA and switched his major to drama. This didn't last long, though, as he then dropped out of UCLA to pursue a full-time career in acting. He landed his first professional acting job for a Pepsi commercial where he sang and danced around a jukebox, and along the way supported himself by working as a parking attendant and a stunt tester for a game show. He finally broke through to the big time with his role in East of Eden, where he played the wayward Cal Trask, vying for the affection of his dad over his favoured brother. From here, he had his three giant movies before he met his untimely death behind the wheel of his Porsche Spider. He was buried in his hometown Fairmount in Indiana, where apparently it has been extremely difficult to secure the headstone, with it going missing a total of three times. So today's mnemonic will be on James Dean's top five movies. So with no further ado, we will begin with a summary from Wikipedia. James Byron Dean was an American actor with a career that lasted five years. He is regarded as a cultural icon of teenage disillusionment and social estrangement, as expressed in the title of his most celebrated film, Rebel Without a Cause, in which he starred as the troubled teenager Jim Stark. The other two roles that defined his stardom were Lona Kel Trask in East of Eden and the surly ranch hand Jet Rink in Giant. Dean was born on February 8, 1931, in Marion, Indiana, the only child of Mildred Marie Wilson and Winton Dean. He claimed that his mother was partly Native American and that his father belonged to a line of original settlers that could be traced back to the Mayflower. Six years after his father had left farming to become a dental technician, Dean moved with the family to Santa Monica, California. He was enrolled at Brentwood Public School in the Brentwood neighbourhood of Los Angeles, but transferred soon afterward to the McKinley Elementary School. In 1938, Dean's mother was suddenly struck with acute stomach pain and quickly began to lose weight. She died of uterine cancer when Dean was nine years old. Unable to care for his son, Dean's father sent him to live with his aunt and uncle, Hortense and Marcus Winslow, on their farm in Fairmount, Indiana, where he was raised in their Quaker household. Dean's father served in World War II and later remarried. Dean died in a car crash in 1955. He became the only actor to receive two posthumous Academy Award acting nominations, being nominated in the Best Actor category for East of Eden and Giant. In 1999, the American Film Institute ranked him the 18th best male movie star of Golden Age Hollywood in the AFI's 100 Years, 100 Stars list. Dean's film roles, fashion and manners became celebrated in popular culture and influenced the development of rock and roll in the 1950s and 1960s. Now on to today's mnemonic. Mnemonic. And the mnemonic for James Dean, top five movies, is Red Gas. Now, both those words are spelt normally. For the red, we take all of those letters. And the gas, we take the consonants, so the G and the S, and the A is assisting. 
And for this one, we picture red gas. I know it's not red, but make the picture. Spread everywhere following the car accident where James Dean crashed his silver Porsche 550 Spider. So we'll get into it. For the red, we take the R for Rebel Without a Cause in 1955, the E, East of Eden, also in 1955, and the D, Deadline USA in 1952. For the gas, we take the G for Giant in 1956, the A is Assisting, and the S, Sailor Beware in 1952. And we'll just go over that one more time. So that's the mnemonic for James Dean Top 5 Movies. And the mnemonic is Red Gas. For the red, we take the R for Rebel Without a Cause in 1955, the E, East of Eden, also in 1955, and the D, Deadline USA, in 1952. For the gas, we take the G for Giant, 1956, the A is Assisting, and the S, Sailor Beware, in 1952. Now on to... Five fun facts. And the first fun fact today, fact number one. James Dean was born in a small town called Marion in Indiana. He moved to California when his father was transferred there for work as a dental technician. Tragically, his mother died of cancer and he was sent back to Indiana to live with his aunt and uncle on their farm in Fairmount. And fact number two. Not only was James Dean a great actor, but he was also quite the athlete. In high school, he excelled at baseball, basketball and running track. However, his favourite event was the pole vault, where he set the Grant County pole vault record at Fairmount High. And fact number three. James Dean dated Jerry Seinfeld's mum. That is, his TV mum, Liz Sheridan from Seinfeld. According to a 2000 memoir entitled Dizzy and Jimmy, My Life with James Dean, A Love Story... She met Dean in New York in 1951, moved in together, and at one point were engaged to be married. And fact number four. James Dean only starred in three movies. These movies were East of Eden, where he co-starred with Julie Harris and Raymond Massey, Giant, also co-starring with Elizabeth Taylor and Rock Hudson, and Rebel Without a Cause, which was the only movie he received top billing. Now, just speaking about rebels, when I was young, I used to be quite the rebel. I used to walk in through the outdoor, take a seat standing up, and watch a PG movie without a parent while drinking Pepsi from a Coke glass. All this while defying all expectations by being predictably unpredictable. And the last fact, fact number five. Following James Dean's tragic death in his Porsche Spider, a curse is said to have followed the car. George Barris, a famous auto customiser, purchased the car after Dean's death. And apparently, when it arrived to the shop, it rolled off the trailer and crushed an employee's legs. Following this, a thief tried to steal the steering wheel, who slipped and broke his arm. And also, those that bought the Porsche parts ended up in fatal crashes. And to add to this, the man that sat next to Dean at the time of the accident, Dean's mechanic, died while drunk driving, following several suicide attempts. Now on to... The The three-question quiz. And the first question, question number one. What was the nickname that James Dean gave to his Porsche 550 Spider? Your options are the Silver Bullet, Little Bastard, or the Super Speedster. And question number two. Was James Dean booked for speeding two hours before his death? Is that true or false? And question three. James Dean studied with what great acting teacher? And we do have a bonus question, and that question is, James Dean was nominated for two Academy Awards for Best Actor. Name both of the movies. It's now time to recap that mnemonic. Need 
mnemonic. And the mnemonic for James Dean top five movies is Red Gas. For the red, we take the R for Rebel Without a Cause, the E, East of Eden, and the D, Deadline, USA. And for the gas, we take the G for Giant, the A is Assist In, and the S, Sailor Beware. Now on to the answers for the three-question quiz. And the first question was, what was the nickname that James Dean gave to his Porsche 550 Spider? And your options were the Silver Bullet, Little Bastard, or the Super Speed Star. And the nickname that James Dean gave to his Porsche was Little Bastard, which is what Jack Warner called him when he refused to vacate his trailer on the Warner Brothers lot. And question two. Was James Dean booked for speeding two hours before his death? Was that true? Or false. And James Dean was booked for speeding about two hours before his death, so that's true. He was doing 65 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. And question three. James Dean studied with what great acting teacher? And the teacher that James Dean studied with was Lee Strasberg. And our bonus question, James Dean was nominated for two Academy Awards for Best Actor. Name both of the movies. And the two movies that Dean was nominated for an Academy Award were Giant and East of Eden. And he was the only actor to receive two posthumous Academy Award acting nominations. Now on to... Word of the Week. And this week's Word of the Week is Jouissance. And that is spelt J-O-U-I-S-S-A-N-C-E. And the meaning according to dictionary.com is pleasure, enjoyment. And our simple example today is the studio contractually banned James Dean from racing while he was filming Giant so it would be a few more weeks before he could indulge in the jouissance of racing cars. Well, that takes us to the end of another episode. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to join our mnemonic community, you can reach us at the mnemonic tree podcast, which is all one word, dot com on the website. From there, you'll find links in the top right to Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Your feedback is much appreciated, so if you have the time, please rate and review the podcast on your chosen platform. Any reviews read on the podcast will receive a small gift of appreciation. And also, if you'd like to suggest a topic or have any additional fun and interesting facts for today's episode, I'd love to hear them, so post them on Facebook and be sure to tag me. Until next time, remember as Socrates said, there is no learning without remembering. See you next time. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense.